we're going to be talking about the belt disc sander now. This will be the belt side and it goes in this direction you can see by the arrow and the disc side which goes in this arrow. Some of the things to remember about the belt disc sander while I'm at it is that when I'm sanding on the disc I always want to sand on the side that's going down. If I try to sand on the side that's going up it will lift my work off the table. This is the on off switch. Always want to make sure that I have a pair of safety glasses on before I begin. This magnetic piece in front has instructions on it that you can always follow if you're in, if you're in doubt. Make sure that you have permission, that you have on gla safety glasses, that long hair is tied back. Turn on the vacuum system. The proper blast gate is the, in the open position. Your fingers stay away from the belt and the disc. Keep your work setting flat on the table. Don't sit in one spot on the belt or the disc. Keep the work always in motion. Avoid burning into the belt or the disc. So those are some reminders for you that are right there on the front of the machine. You have to make sure that you choose the blast gate that has the tube that goes to the machine. That would be this blast gate for the belt disc sander. All of the sanders that we have in the room tend to put a lot of dust in the air. This one is probably the worst. As a matter of fact, when they did the dust system, they stopped it short. I modified it and brought it all the way up to the table. I also took out a tube down here that was small and I put a four inch going straight into the exhaust system to try to cut down on how much dust this machine is putting out. When you turn on the blast gate, you gotta make sure you've turned off all the other blast gates so that this one is the only one getting the suction. Always make sure your wood is down on the table if you're up too high it tends to pull down on it. Down at the bottom it stays steady and it's safe. Up here it's not as safe. It wants to grab it out of your hands. Keep your work in motion. If you hold it in one spot too long it actually burns into the paper. I can take it off. That burn that we just created can come off but you can see how long it takes me to do that. So I'm going to start like this and I'm going to run around and be done with it. The object is not only to smooth it but to make sure that you have no ripples. I'm going to take the time to round off the corners on the disc sander. One more spot I'd like to get out right there so we're going to go to the other belt sander to do it. I like the small belt sander to do the spots that are harder to get into. The small belt sander is really nice to use for a spot like this that is difficult to catch on the bigger sanders. And so now I'm going to round over, or what they say in woodworking and cabinet making, soften the edges. Soften the edges, take off the little lumps that you didn't catch on the bigger sanders. 
All that's done by hand and it gives it a really nice look and a really nice feel so you don't feel any corners anywhere. And you got to do the same thing here. Okay.